He's watching these planes cross by. So this part is obviously the air traffic of the planes. Hi guys, I just want to let you know that I've washed my face the same way. I've washed the, I've washed it in the previous vlog and so I used as well cold water to close the pores and then after that I've used ice to gently rub it around my face gentle and just gentle not to don't try to like rub it too much because you have to be aware of the spikiness that eyes has sometimes and you don't want that to scratch your face so you have to be gentle with it when you rub it across your face and focusing on the pores that are large to minimize the pores and you know ideally we want them to be fine and close if that's possible and then after that you have to damp your face with a towel gent just gentle and firm you don't want it to you don't want to rub your face back and forth up and down and left and right you don't want that just damp it dry with a towel so I wanted to let you guys know that clearly and so we can jump into what we needed to share to you guys today. So that's all I wanted to say and enjoy watching. Our table all set up. So that's our spritz or toner, moisturizer, sunblock and these are the only makeup that I'm going to be using for my face for today. Okay guys, let's start. After the cleanser and the eyes, I'm going to use my mist or spritz. On my face and decolletage the neck area and then I will use my Shia Butter Moisturizer. Okay guys, grab yung init ngayon. So the last product that I'll be using on my face is our sunblock. So when I get very lazy, I only use three brushes. So out of all my brushes, this is the only one that has mm, light tips. So this is what I use on my highlights, for example. And then I use this one for contour. And I use this one as my blush. So you can use whatever um, brushes you want. But for me, like I just use whatever I feel comfortable with. What a pretty sight. Anyway, so guys... In this view, you can always see a traffic of um, planes crossing by, which is kind of cool. So you can see the sun is over there and it's right facing right across to my face. But anyway, so what I have here is MAC. This is what I'm going to use mainly and a little bit of this one for my blush. This is a proof um, brand from my... Uh, beauty therapy course it was 2012 <laughs> so yeah when we have good products they last long so I'm going to use this first this one under my eyes I pinch a little bit so it gets in there tip of my nose again I pinch that and then t-zone and then here I do as well sometimes underneath my eyebrow I go like that and that now if I want to go a bit more accurate then I will use this brush okay so I will use that same powder underneath my eyes just a little bit over my brow 
and on the other side as well above it and then on my nose just looking if there's a plane again I should stop getting distracted and get this over with because it's hot right now in my room here for more definition guys I use the little brushes and here corner inner corner of my eyes so my daily makeup is natural looking makeup because I face my clients and I don't want them to think that I put a lot of makeup on when I go to work because at work we have our remedial therapist, acupuncturist, naturopath, botanist and we have a doctor there as well so we all have our each room so we're not there to glamorize ourselves so it's just an everyday makeup And sometimes to make my nose look um, higher, I put some highlight here. I will go to contour. I use I used to use this one, but I find that like I use a lot of it to put on my cheek. So I realized I'll go for the darker one, and then I'll just use a little bit of it, so I don't use a lot of products and waste my products. Gentle, gentle. So with the makeup, I like to go gentle on my face. I don't go rub it and get in there and push it. Very gentle. I go like this. Follow my cheekbones down. We don't want to go lower because the color is going to drag down. The dark color is going to drag down. So we want to go just where that sharp edge of our bones of our cheekbones which is here more product here I apply and then down I go lighter I don't want to rub more down here light feather strokes And then jawline. When I have my hair, uh, my hair up, you think my face shape is round, circle, but actually my face shape is um, diamond. So that's what my lecturer said. Because if you actually fo follow my hairline, if you follow the hairline, your hairline, when you look in the mirror, so pointy up here and here and here, here. So that's a diamond. Semi-diamond and semi-circle. So my face is, is nearly oblong. And oblong is supposedly the ideal face shape. But I who cares about that? Like, just love your face. <laughs> and there's makeup so you can make it look oblong, which is what I'm doing pretty much. So otherwise, if my face is the idea, the um, shape of it, then I wouldn't need to contour much, right? So I'm contouring a little bit. But at the end of the day, I don't really follow the face shape that they say, that most people say, the trends say. I just follow um, what I feel like I'm comfortable in. So at the end of the day, it's all up to you. Sometimes I get lazy, I use this to that same um, brown color for my nose. Okay, I can just show you a little bit. I go like this, just a little bit. And then I follow where my eyebrows is, starts, and then to my nose. But first you have to be gentle here, up here, because you don't want a strong line on there. So you just go like this. Gentle, very gentle. 
and then I go like this again so that's when I'm lazy guys I do my makeup my everyday makeup 10 to 15 minutes every day but because I'm showing this to you, I'm quite I can be detail oriented as well so I'm gonna this is the brush I use if I want to be accurate That mic over there is for my glasses because I wear glasses, that dark spot over there. Then at the end of the nose, nostril, the end here on our nostril, I just go a bit more darker so it creates that shade that my nose is taller. Taller? <laughs> Higher. I shouldn't, be say, I shouldn't be saying taller. Now the airplane has crossed again. <laughs> I shouldn't be getting distracted. And then I use this brush as well. The one that I use for contour. When I'm lazy. For the eyes. So I follow my brow bone where my brow bone is. And my brow bone is here. You can feel it with your fingertip. Pinky, any finger. With this, I want to create the illusion that my eyes are more deep set. Right below it and above it. Wherever is the sharp edge of my bone, that's where I apply the product on. Again, we're trying to follow the bony landmarks of our face so we can play, we know where to put our. Um, makeup okay so that's how it is so again if I want to be more accurate then I'll use this brush the one that I use earlier on my nose after this one I'm gonna use the blush so with the blush, I try to mimic blood flow of my, on, in my face. So I want to imitate that look of youthful and healthy. With the blush, <coughs> God, it's got in my, I breath that in a bit. I go from here to here. I want to create the illusion of healthy cheeks. I go like this, get my cheeks out. like that and then like that like that <laughs> okay so when i'm lazy again i use this one Dab. and then just above that brown that contour that's where i put the that's where i want to put the illusion of healthy skin where the blood is flowing now if i don't want to be lazy i use this one I use this one because it's so like fluffy. Use the one for the highlight on my nose, the little one. Highlight. Just underneath my eyebrow again to make sure there's more definition. You can add more if you want to. If you don't want to, that's okay. Some two are eyebrows. So I use three types, three colors for my eyebrows. I go with the lighter for my for the inner start. I go with the medium for the middle part up to the end, and then I use a black at the very end because my hair is black. That's my natural hair color over there. So. And then we go to our medium color for the middle.
So I have MAC here for my light and medium and then I have Max Factor for my, bl my black nose, eye, the end of your nostril, eye, and your eyebrow. Measure it to make sure where we know where to stop. Mine's just right. And here as well. Nostril, eye. It's just right. So now we use the black at the very end. And then for my eyeliner, one of them, I use the medium color. And then what I do, dot will be just above, above this angle. So I curl at the end because my hair, I have long hairs, but they so straight, like they're dead straight. They go like that. They don't, they're, they're very strong hair guys that after I curl them up and I put on my mascara, they don't, they go back to straight. So I'm going to put on my mascara first. So with my mascara, I go at the middle part of my lashes and then to the end. I don't go to the roots because I want to create the illusion of feather like goes up like that nicely. So well I shall no mascara at the very very root of the lashes, just the middle part, and then we'll just nicely go up like that. I'm gonna let them dry a bit and then I'm gonna curl them with lashes. I mean, I need to curl them. So I don't have lipstick on. What I use is just lip balm. Lashes. I do that and then I lift it up a little bit. Up, 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 let go, let go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take this seriously. And there you go, guys. Here's my everyday makeup. 